It's been just over a year since 18-year-old China Forney was shot and killed on Essex Street in Albany. To honor her, the street where she was killed now bears her name. Jonathan Hunter is live at what is now known as China Forney Way. Jonathan. Yes, Sabrina, and good evening to you, Mark. And the city of Albany wanted to keep China's memory alive. And here on Essex Street, it is now also known as China Forney Way. And it's been just over a year since she was shot and killed. And there's still a small memorial over here where people can remember China Forney. On Tuesday evening, Albany city leaders came to Essex Street to unveil China Forney Way. Robert D. Pasquale lives on the street. He did not live on the street last year when the shooting took place, but he heard what happened. I found out about it as soon as I moved to the area, and a lot of the neighbors had talked to me about it, discussed that with me, that how it had impacted them. Robert says he and other neighbors are happy the city is remembering China. China was shot and killed on Essex Street last year on May 3rd. She was not the intended target. Jameer Manning and Alvin Foy were arrested in connection to the shooting. China is being remembered as having an affectious smile and bubbly personality. It's been a year, so it's a year of reflection, the good times and the the smiles. Bishop Avery Comathier is the pastor of Elijah Missionary Church. China's funeral was held at his church. He says many people attended the service. China went to Albany Leadership Charter School for Girls. She ran track and was captain on the Tone Setter Step Team. She was a go-getter. She was just a, a dancer. She was a dancer and um, a leader. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Uh, but her memory is still here. Bishop Comathier and Robert are hoping that the sign, China Forney Way, will serve as a reminder that we have to do better as a community so another person does not lose their life. But also put some awareness that we need to be tighter as a community, that we need more communication within with each other. And China was killed just weeks before she was supposed to graduate from high school, and she had plans to study nursing. Reporting live in Albany, I'm Jonathan Hunter, News Channel 13 coverage you can trust. Mark and Sabrina. Jonathan, thank you.